Hello Level friends, today I will show you the fastest way to bring real-time communication to your Level application through Level Reworp, our latest family member. With Reworp you can run a WebSocket server yourself and you can skip external services. So this means with broadcasting events and Level Echo, which we already supported, Level now got you fully covered when it comes to real-time communication. Let me show you. In today's example, we have Level's lovely welcome page here. And the only thing that I've added here are those emojis below. So this means you can react to this lovely welcome page and yeah, send us some love, fire, rocket, or if your mind is blown. Of course, currently only we can see those animations, but we want to change this. And we also want to make sure that we see how many people are currently here on this site. So this means we are going to need real-time communication. This means we must install Level Reverb in order to get our WebSocket server and Level Echo for listening to those channels. But please also check out the broadcasting documentation for more details about that. After installing the needed dependencies, we also need an event and mine is called user reacted event and it implements the should broadcast interface. We then also need to add this method here, broadcast on, where we're going to define our channel. And here we are using a presence channel with the name Reverb. And this is also the channel that we later then need to listen to from our front end. Our emojis are part of this reactions live via world component here, which includes our PHP code, HTML and JavaScript all in one file. Here at the beginning, we are creating a closure for dispatching our event, which we have defined on the backend and the type is our emoji. Then whenever we click an emoji, this will be triggered. Then we have our HTML, which we don't need to take a look at. And then later down here, we have our Alpine component, which holds all of our emojis. But also here we define our echo setup. We want to join the reverb channel, which we have defined on the backend. Every time a new user comes, we want to show our counter. When the user joins or is leaving, we want to update the counter connections. And then later on, the most important part is where we're listening for our event. And if this is being triggered, we want to react by reacting with our emoji. This is what this react method does in the end. And this will show us then this animation. Now the only thing left is to start our WebSocket server with Artisan Reverb Start. So this starts the server and now if I bring up four different windows and I click the emojis in one of them, you can see all of them see now those reactions in real time. How cool is this? And we also see that currently four users are active online through our indicator. Of course, this is just the beginning. There is so much more you can bring to your applications with real-time communication and level reverb. We're already using it on Envoy and Forge and it also works for thousands of users perfectly. Please make sure to check out the official documentation and have fun with level reverb. Bye.